Hey future doctors, if you are a first year MBBS student and wondering which book to study, which one to skip, thinking of how to avoid in drowning of endless seas of textbooks, then you are at the right place. In the next 10 minutes, I'll be going to tell you that which books you should prefer and which books you should avoid in your MBBS journey, particularly in the first year of MBBS. So, Let's break down all the essential books subjects wise. So also I'm going to share my personal recommendation and will give you tips that can actually save your time, marks and send. And if you are new here, then let me introduce myself that myself Dr. Rakshit Desai and MBS intern. So without wasting any further time, let's get in into the video. So now see coming to the books in MBS, we have basically three subjects in the MBS first year. So those three subjects are the first one is anatomy, the second one is physiology and the third one is biochemistry. So these are the three main subjects in your first year of MBBS. In anatomy you again have two other subjects like one is histology, the other one is your embryology and the third one which we call as the general anatomy. So these are the three main subjects in anatomy itself. One is your general anatomy, second is your histology and third is your embryology. So these are the three subjects which includes in anatomy. And yes, these are the core subjects of your MBBS journey. And if you get this right, then your entire MBBS will go so smoothly. But Here's the catch, most of the colleges recommend you different types of books in your first year even in further of your MBBS journey. But I'm telling you not all the books are required in your first year. So let's go how to approach smartly for your first year of MBBS journey. Now see, coming to the first subject and that is your anatomy. I have told you earlier that anatomy itself contains three subjects. One is your general anatomy, second one is your histology and third one is your embryology. So basically in general anatomy you again have four volumes, okay, four volumes and one handbook. So now coming to the standard books to prefer in anatomy, the first one is B.D. Chaurasia which is a standard book and which is we call as an OG of anatomy. So that is your P.D. Chaurasia which is the best book in anatomy and it has been mostly commonly used in India just because of its simple language with good you know diagrams and easy to understand. Then the second book is your Vishram Singh which is more visual and updated better for understanding concepts. And the third is your Grace Anatomy. Grace Anatomy is best when you have a visual learning sense. Okay, when you have that sense of you can see any you know diagrams and you can visualize that thing, then Grace Anatomy is the best book for you there. But my recommendation will be just you can go for B.D. Chaurasia or Vishram Singh. These two books you can go for your theory and keep Grace Anatomy as your standby or for reference. Then coming to the Atlas in Anatomy. So the Atlas in Anatomy is Knitter's Atlas which is a visualized learning booster especially for your neuroanatomy and upper limb and lower limb. Then coming about the dissection. So for dissection you should go for Cunningham. So in Cunningham you again have three volumes. So in our college this Cunningham is mostly preferred and see you can also go for notes in anatomy for dissection but mostly the preferred thing is for dissection is Cunningham so you can go for that too. So basically this is all about your general anatomy. Now coming to your histology and embryology. For histology Indrabir Singh is the best book so also the other book for histology is GP Pal. So from these two you can buy any one of them. Like in our college, we mostly prefer GP PAL. So I would recommend you to go for GP PAL for your histology and for embryology, Indrabir Singh is the best one. Then for embryology, excluding this Indrabir Singh, there are other two books and those are one is your Vishram Singh's embryology and the other one is your Lagman's medical embryology. So basically, if I talk about the Lagman's medical embryology, I would say this is a complex book, but it is not you know that much good for your UG but you can use it for your PG preparation and then coming to the Vishram Singh's embryology it is one of the best book I would say because it is so simple and better for understanding at UG level and then on top of all of this 
you can also watch youtube videos macro videos other prep ladder videos you can watch that too for your anatomy preparation so this is all about you know anatomy subject how you should you know go for your learning in anatomy for your first year of mbbs see in first year anatomy is little bit tough because the thing is everything is new in anatomy now coming to the second subject and that is your physiology so for physiology the standard book is only one and that is guyton and hobbs see this is the much advanced book i must say you will get bored if you don't like physiology that much so if you don't like guyton and hall then there are other options too to go for you know to learn for physiology and those are one is your akj and the other one is your lpr which is lp ready and the third one is your sampling gum so these are the three other books which you can go for you know for physiology see i would recommend you can go for lpr or sampling gum because this two textbook has a simpler language which you can understand very easily once you read it and for your clinical physiology you can go for any viva books or self assessment books so also you can also go for your maro videos or prep ladder videos or youtube videos so these are the other options too to go you know to learn your physiology and now coming to the biochemistry see in biochemistry i will recommend you two books and the first one is the satyanarayan and the other one is your vasudeva satyanarayan is the book which is recommended by our college and it is a simple book colorful book and exam friendly and the other one which is your vasudevan it's a book which has slightly more details better for understanding clinicals and helps to clear your concepts greatly so these two books are there in your biochemistry you can go for any one of them and for biochemistry practical you can go for dr pankaja naik book which is one of the best book for your biochemistry practical so you can go for that too so these are all the textbooks in your first year and maybe which you should go for and other than that you should always you know solve mcqs which will help you for your pg preparation as well as will help you for your internal exams even in your university exams so every now and then just make your time table in such a way that you should solve mcqs of each and every topics and make sure that you should solve your college university exam papers or internal exam papers before your exam like at least last 6 to 7 years of your university exam papers you should solve so that you will get a clear idea about what are the questions which is very important which are the questions which is important and which are the questions you should know and you should learn for your university exams so these are about all the books which you should go for and now i'll be going to tell you that which are the things which you should not do so the first thing is i would say don't buy all the books at once you can borrow the books from your seniors or you can go in the library and just read that book is suitable for you guys to for your better understanding then you can go for that otherwise don't buy unnecessary all the books which i have recommended because it's of no use you will buy once and you will let that book be in your shelf so it's no use if you buy unnecessary so just do one thing that you just read it from your library or somewhere else and just think of that if you are getting the concepts clear then only you just buy those books and the other thing is don't get don't be rely on any revision notes and all in the beginning because see revision note is when you make your own notes only then it will help you if someone else is making your revision notes and you are reading their revision notes then it will not help you so i would recommend you just make your own revision notes and after that it will help you to you know clear your concepts easily and just remember that don't neglect like your practical books because those books are also important because those practicals also carry a good marks so the way you focus on your theory you should always focus on the practical exams too and my final advice is just pick up one main book per subject and just stick to it and remember in anatomy don't just read but you try your best to you know draw diagrams learn diagrams and label the diagrams and so also make your own notes in anatomy clearly in a simple way so that it will help you to score good marks in your anatomy subject and just remember that revise your topics regularly so these are all the things which you should do in your first year so that it will help you to you know 
to get good score in your first year of MBBS so also it will help you in your further studies too. Remember one thing that MBBS is not about just reading everything but it is all about reading the right thing at the right time and in the right way. So yeah, I think I have covered all the books of the first year of MBBS. If you have any doubts then please comment in the comment section below. I think you will found this video helpful and if you found this video helpful then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my youtube channel and just comment in the comment box which is your favorite book in your first year and drop down below any questions if you are having. I'll try my best to solve all of your queries. See you soon in the next one and all the best for your ambitious journey. Take care. Bye bye.